Hello everyone, welcome back to Monster Rancher 2, and as I said in the last episode, we're going to jump into the Papa's Cup immediately, because Empress is ready to do so. So, some interesting things have happened since the last time we spoke. I'm going on vacation for the first time in... I'm not sure how long. I may have never taken a vacation since I started the channel, not an actual vacation. Um, I'm a little unhappy with the way this one came together. I was guilt-tripped into seeing some family that, to be fair, I should see. But, you know, I hate being guilt-tripped just like everybody else. And it sucks the way it came together. But, um, you know, it's I'll be going to Chicago. Uh, I might be able to even see my favorite baseball team play, uh, which I have not done that since I was literally five years old, so that's cool. Um, I don't know, it's, it'll probably be, Jesus, that hits so hard. Wow. I still need to get Empress's speed up. Because if she takes a shot, then it's not going to be good for her, but well, anyway. So probably by the time you're watching this, I'm not in Chicago yet. It's probably late May. I'm going to be going in to Chicago in early June. So I'm kind of rushing to get some episodes recorded. That way, during the week I'll be gone. There will still be daily content on the channel, aside from streaming Sundays. And... You know, it'll be, it'll probably be good for me to just get out of town for, for a week, um, see some family I haven't seen in a long time, and, you know, just overall try to reset my brain. They talk about YouTube burnout a lot. Um, it seems to be a big problem for creators who just constantly work and work and work and work and work, and... I enjoy the job. I enjoy doing YouTube, which is part of the reason why I generally have the energy that I can keep doing this, even when I am really tired. But burnout's a thing, and I mean, even as this episode is coming out, I've missed a few upload days recently just because I've been tired or other priorities have taken over. Um, I'm starting to fall back on my old habit where I'm staying up too late and I'm going to, I'm waking up too late. I settled it in my mind um, last year, toward the end of the year, because I would convince myself that as long as I'm putting in a, as long as I'm putting in a, a full work week, it doesn't, or a full work day, it doesn't really matter what that shift is. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter whether I'm nine to five. A, uh, you know, a.m. to p.m. or if I'm 9 to 5 p.m. to a.m. Like, it doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter. Um, so... Oh, God. Yeah, I'm putting everything I have into one shot. She has taken every attack since this tournament started. She hasn't dodged a single blow. And I've seen, I've been watching their hit percentages, and I've seen that their hit percentages are sometimes excessively low. And so it bothers me that I'm being hit, or, yeah. I'm, I'm, I swear the hit percentages are bullshit. It's starting to p upset me. It's starting to upset me, those hit percentages. I hope it's not just observation bias, but, ugh. Anyway. Well, that's a little bit of an advantage. We have a percentage, a better percentage against Duelist since his dodge rate was so garbage. So hopefully we can pull this off. Anyway, so I am a little excited to be going out to Chicago. I get to fly. Um, I'm afraid of heights, but not afraid to fly because my fear of heights, thank you for finally dodging Empress. My fear of heights are related to how secure I am. Um, so, being encased in metal with wings, I'm fine. Um, I know pilots are professional and plane crashes are extremely rare. And even if something goes wrong with a plane, it's very easy to put it down. Well, relatively easy to put it down. Um, without any harm coming to anybody. So, uh, 
But, like, my fear of heights come from being on top of a ladder or looking over a railing or something like that. Because then it's not, I'm not secure. If I'm pushed from behind, I'm going to fall. Um, and even then, it's, I'd have to be, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the railing and look straight down. And then I start getting the butterflies. So, And I explain that because I mentioned to the Akamura because she needed me to do something that involved leaning over a railing and looking straight down and I told her I was afraid of heights but you know I'll stomach it to do what she needed me to do and she's like I didn't know you were afraid of heights and I'm like we've been together eight years of course we I'm why would you not think I'm afraid of heights we've talked about this and she doesn't think we've even talked about it so I'm like well shit <laughs> have I only talked about it on the show have I talked about it on the show? At this point, with YouTube, I've done so much talking that I don't know what I've said and what I haven't said. I mean, we've got over, what, we've got close to 3,300 videos on the show, on the channel now, so it's been a lot of talking. All right, damn, that's what I needed to see out of speed and life and accuracy. Shit, those are the three I needed, fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll praise you for that, even if that makes me soft. I want flour. Okay, let's- you've earned it, and you get yourself a cup jelly, too. That's totally fine. I- I have no problem with any of that. Alright, um... But your loyalty went down. Why did your loyalty go down? Alright, uh... Let me see what the- do- Still more affordable than gold, but still highly valuable. So, this is a sell-only item, right? So I'm just going to sell it. And I think we're going to get some... Can we uh, upgrade the house now? No, not the, not the mint leaf. Pure silver. Yes, I want to sell that. For 4,000?! <laughs> Hell yes! Ah. Oh. You know, I should tack on 4,000 to her prize money stat plate, but... Dah! That's for, that's for Pyro. Alright, um, rest up. Because I don't know how tired that made you. But I definitely don't need to give you a nuts oil. And I still want to train speed. That's still the one that I think we need more of since she's taking shots. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, sale. Okay. Um, alright. Let's let's buy a nuts oil and uh the rest are mint leaves. I should buy a smoked snake. A lot of people have been yelling at me about the smoked snake. I'll buy two of them since they're on sale. And then I'll buy a nuts oil and then however many left of mint leaves I've got, that's how uh, what I'll buy, so Yes. Oh, that, yep, that, I'm, I'm stocked up. Okay. Um, also, uh, I have been contacted by DMs by Ledge, who has said that I'm probably retiring my monsters early. That when Colt says they're ready to retire, they're not actually ready to retire. So, I don't know if I... F I don't... I don't know. Because he said that that means they're in their prime, but... That sounds off to me. I, I don't see why Colt would say they are ready to retire if they're not ready to retire. So what I'm going to do is I save between every episode. And I'm going to... I, I generally do not want to save scum, but I will save scum that. Because I don't want speed in life. Yes, do that one. That's fine if it's a difficult technique. I don't, I'm not here for the techniques. So, um, what was I saying? Damn. Oh, uh, yeah, aging. So what I'm going to do is after Colt says that, you know, you better stop because your monsters, your monster should probably go to retirement. Um, after she says that, I'm going to keep going. And then if she dies, if Empress dies, I will uh, save Scum at that point just to get her back. But 
if I see another message, then that'll be Intel, and then I'll retire Empress. Because if, in fact, I've been retiring monsters early, that would explain why no one's stats have been seeming to get very high. Um, Ledge reported that using my training technique, focusing only on attack and accuracy, essentially, that he was able to beat the entire game which I still need to get his definition of that, but he was able to beat the game on his very first monster. And it took him, I think he said, seven in-game years or so. So I'm going to have to ask him for details on that. I don't want his technique, um, because then this would turn into Ledge's Let's Play. <laughs> uh, but um, I can ask him about you know, how he... Some of the details on which monster he used, um, exactly how long it took in game terms, and so on. So, um, that's that helps me out. And I know the speedrunners are able to beat the game on their first monster all the time. So, uh, as I said at the beginning of the series, it's a casual run. I'm, I don't care about speedrunning. I'm having fun with the game. And if I turn this into math class, I'm going to stop having fun. And if I stop having fun, y'all are going to hear it in my voice. I'm so sorry I said y'all. Why have I been picking that up lately? I used to hate that word. I still hate that word. I don't like y'all. Sometimes I'll slur you all, which is, of course, where y'all came from, but I hate saying it, even though it feels natural. It's just faster. It's, it's faster to say y'all instead of you all. <clears throat> all right. So we got our prize money. Cool. Keep up the good job. Empress defeated a wild monster. Praise it. No. Uh, and now she's dead tired. So we nuts oil and we rest. Hopefully I didn't miss anything important when I did that. Because I was not paying attention. Alright. Have a fish. We did not get a star cup on the last cup jelly. Sad... Days for Colt, I guess. Why is my phone being an asshole? Use my phone as my timer whenever I... Oh, it's just... Alright. Did you know the official tournament is at the end of this month? Uh, okay. We can give that a go. We've got time to get her prepared. And that'll... This'll help. What does is, what is the birthday do? That Does it reset stress? Because if it resets stress, I won't have to mint life her. I mean... By the time I get you telling me that, it's going to be too late, because I'm recording now and I won't see the comments for about two weeks. But still, the point is, let me know in the comments below what exactly birthdays affect. Whether it's a reset on stress, whether it's a reset on fatigue, both, neither, something else, or just a fun little event that lets us sing along to Colt's terrible, terrible song. Empress is stressed. Okay, well, it clearly doesn't... Emperor seems very tired. Okay, so... Uh, the mint... The mint leaf... The battle is going to reset her stress, so let's just get her rested up for now. We can even rest her three weeks in a row. Did you... The fuck? What was... Did you just... Did you just have a glitch? Was that why you laid down when you were given the nuts oil? Or has that always happened? Have they always gone into their rest animation when I give them a nuts oil? I don't remember. Empress as well. Okay, um, so this time, let's give you a mint leaf. Oh no, I should have given her the other nuts oil and then I could, well, it's fine. Um, all right, give me a heavy speed training. I know that takes down power, but I would rather get the boosted number here. Oh, sweet! Excellent. Oh, yeah. 12 speed with a cost of 2 power. That's fine. I'll take that any day of the week. Good job. All right. Now we rest you again. Hopefully you're... Yes, good. You're well. Okay. So, this time I won't even bother with the... with an item. We'll just rest you. And then hopefully you're very well, and then going into the tournament, you're going to do fine. If I did this all right. Official tournament. Empress is very well! Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! Look who gets to learn mechanics of games! All right. Bring it on, B-Class!
I don't know if she's ready for this, but you know, better better to try, right? Man, this is gonna be a two tournament and th episode with that bonus battle against the one monster in the Aaron tree. Holy crap! Okay, yes, let's win. I think this is gonna be an eight monster one. Yep. So we're gonna have to split this over the next couple episodes because there's no way I'm gonna get this done in five minutes. Aspen. I don't think we've seen him yet. I don't think I've been doing very many tur unofficial B tournaments. That la The first one at the beginning of this episode may have been the only one I've done. I can't remember. Um, Alright, let's do this. Uh, hopefully all this training has helped. Well, that's, that's weak. We can take that all day. Nice dodge. Alright, 74% miss. Come on. Alright. His accuracy is still pretty high against Empress here. If that percentage is not lying to me. Alright, good. We'll stick with that move. I like the heal drop, but when I already have a decent accuracy against someone who has a decent dodge. I would rather stick with the higher accuracy attack because I don't know when I'll be able to land them. And yeah, it just... Man, their aggression is really high. Like, it's... I have to just keep attacking at this point. I just have to get in close and just kick the sh living shit out of every monster we come across. Alright. Robineal. There's Dulas again. Robineal is the one who beat us last time. I have confidence against... Oh, shit, I forgot about the galley and the friggin' hangar. Oh, man. Well, it's fine. I don't think that plant thing's going to defeat us either, so I want to see the plant win because I have confidence we can beat it. So, if that, if any of that made sense, hopefully it did. All right, Robineal. Last time you were breaking that hit percentage. There you go. Heal raid. 74%, that's not bad. You've got to land those, though, Empress. Come on. There you go. God, he has... Does he just have really high defense? No, he's got a lot of life. He's got nearly 400 hit points. Holy crap. Um, That would do it. Well, we've got to... All right, I'm going to switch to her uh, high kick because I just cannot seem to land shots on this guy. Ugh. I mean, if I'm going to miss, I would rather miss for a cheaper number of guts so I have a... I can get in more attacks. There you go. Yeah, that's... wow. I didn't even see how much damage that did. I think it was an okay shot. But the problem was that it just doesn't do that much damage percentage-wise. Yeah, 72 damage isn't bad. It just isn't a whole lot percentage-wise on his stupid, stupid bug face. Okay, so we're going to get in one more battle, and then I'm going to call it an episode, so we'll be against uh, Absalon. Let's end this with a win, Empress, because although e Absalon doesn't worry me like the galley does, but... Wait, is there a galley involved? Maybe not. Maybe I'm mislooking at the pictures. Never mind. All right, let's try this again. Come on, Empress, I believe in you. I have faith in you. Even though Epsilon's been kind of an asshole to us in the past. Let's heal raid. 50%, oh shit. Yeah, you're, I think I'm gonna, my strategy will be I'll get do two heal raids max and then switch to the kicks. Because if I try to do more than that, she's going to run out of guts before we get anything accomplished. Wow, this hangar has some good speed. Would you let me kick you? Thank you. Yeah, 73. So her damage is consistent. Wow. Well done, Empress. Hot damn. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Her little mus her little flexing on the hangar. Has she always done that? That was the first time I noticed. 
All right, so that's going to do it for today. We're going to finish up this tournament tomorrow and hopefully walk away with a win. And indeed, the plant is winning, so hopefully we can... Oh, it's not a galley. It's a tiger galley. All right, hopefully that'll not end in tears for us. Okay, so thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.